transforming long horizontal videos into shareable vertical short form clips. Wow, that's a mouthful. There are many AI tools that do it, but which one does it best? Over the next few weeks, we'll be putting Minvo, Opus Clip, and CapCut to the test to see which one handles this best. In this video, we're gonna be looking at which of these tools does a better job at framing the videos into that vertical format. And for this test, we wanna see which produces the best result automatically with no editing and the options for each tool for manually adjusting the clip after it's been generated. So without further ado, let's get to testing. Hey guys, real quick before we get into the content, this video ended up being a lot longer than I had originally anticipated it. So what we're actually gonna do is break this video into two parts. The first part, we're gonna take a look at how these tools handle the video framing automatically. And then next week, we're gonna get into part two where we're gonna actually get inside the editors of these tools and see how we can make manual adjustments to the framing in the tool itself. Okay, that's all I had. Now let's get you back into part one of the Opus versus Minvo versus CapCut video. Okay, so for this test, I have the exact same interview loaded into Opus Clip, Minvo, and CapCut. So let's first dive into Opus Clip and see how well it does at framing the video automatically. So this is inside Opus Clip. We already have all of our clips generated, and you can see it generated a lot of clips. It generated 31 from about an hour long video. So let's open this up in the editor and see how well it did actually framing the video automatically. I'm not gonna play through the whole video. This is a two minute and 51 second video, but we're just gonna scrub through and see what it did as far as framing for the video itself. So it looks like in this particular video, it just did a split screen format. We got our hosts on top, we have our guest on bottom, and it did a decent job. Everyone's in frame, it looks good. Let's take a look at another clip quick. Okay, let's quickly scrub through this one as well. Now this clip, we obviously have our guest talking throughout the whole clip, so we just have our guest on screen. Let's take a look at one more here. Okay, so we scrub through. This time we have our guest on top in a split screen view, and then we have our host on bottom, and oh, we got a little switcheroo here. <laughs> so at this point in the clip, we just flip flop the guest and the host, one's on top, one's on bottom, and then they reverse it. So kind of an interesting choice, but that was what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if in Opus, if the scenes actually changed automatically throughout the clip. Um, in this case, it does. I probably wouldn't do it in this way, but it is making some changes automatically for you. So that is nice. Let's jump into Minvo and see what Minvo generates automatically for us. Okay, so now we're in Minvo, and it looks like Minvo actually pulled 43 clips out of our hour-long video. So that's pretty awesome. So let's take a look at some of these clips and see how Minvo actually framed it automatically for us. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna click edit. Okay, so now we, as we scrub through this timeline, we can see there are different clips going on. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we do have switching going on between the host. Here we have B-roll that was automatically created for us, which we didn't have any B-roll in the Opus clip one, which I find interesting. Between, we even have some video effects that look like they were added to the clip, which is awesome. Okay, cool. So, so that's one. So it does look like throughout the entire clip, we are switching between the host and the guest as they're talking. With Opus, we only encountered that one time and all it did was flip flop a split screen view. So I do like the fact that it is switching between who is talking and kind of creating a more dynamic video than just two heads talking on a screen. It keeps the video a little bit more interesting. Okay, so the next one in line, take a look at this one here. Right out of the gate, we have B-roll. Let's jump through. Okay, so quick snap of the host and then we see the guest back to the host guest host guest so it does seem like we're very similar we keep switching between the guest and the host throughout the entire clip which i do like i was hoping i'd see at least a switch or two to a split screen view but once we get into the manual adjustments we can definitely take a look and see how easy that is to do in the Minvo side of things. But like I said, I do appreciate that it is switching between different scenes and not just being the same scene throughout the entire, in this case, 51 second clip. I definitely appreciate this. Now for the last one, we're gonna take a look at CapCut and see what CapCut automatically generates. You may or may not know this, but CapCut does have a feature that takes your long form content and turns it into short form clips. I will say I am on the pro or premium version of CapCut. I'm not sure if this is something that is available for free users or not. CapCut does tend to offer quite a few options for free for users, but I do know that they're making adjustments to their pay plans and their tiers as they're introducing more AI stuff. So if if you want to try using CapCut's clip editor, you may have to upgrade to the premium account. So CapCut created 20 shorts, which is the least out of the three. But let's take a look and see how these clips actually look. So we have our clips lined. I, I kind of like the, the well-structured on topic engaging. So let's open this up into the editor. Okay, so here we go. So we're starting with a split screen view as we scrub through. 
So as we scub through, it's not really changing anything. It's just our host on top, or it's just our guest on top and our host on bottom. There's an option over here for layout. Oh, this is just kind of a change it all. So if we change the layout to fill, it looks like it does switch between whoever's speaking, but that's not this part of the test. So <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so it looks like in this example, it's just a split screen view. Let's jump to this other clip and see what we have on this one. Once again, we're looking at a split screen view. And as I scrub through, it seems like, yeah. Okay, so it is just a split screen share for all of these clips, it looks like. Once again, it's about a three minute clip and it's all just split screen. Okay, so there's a look at the three tools, Opus Clip, Minvo, and CapCut. And all we did was we uploaded the video and we looked to see what the tools did automatically for us. How does the framing work between each of those three tools? With Opus, for the most part, what we saw, it was all just split screen. There was one point where it did switch the scene up by flip-flopping who was on top and who was on bottom. But for the most part, it was all just split screen. With Minvo, we didn't have any split screen, but we did have some dynamic switching between the host and the guest throughout the entire clip. And with CapCut, it was pretty much all split screen. We didn't have any changes throughout the entire clip. We had, a we had a guest on top, a host on bottom, and that was essentially what the clip was for the entire duration. All right, guys, that wraps up part one of this video framing comparison between Opus, Minvo, and CapCut. But I'm interested to know what you think. Which of these tools do you think did a better job of automatically framing the content for us? Let me know down in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel because next week we're going to be looking at part two, which will be manually adjusting and editing the clips and adjusting that framing for our content inside these platforms editors. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next one.